Embedded devices are a combination of input devices, output devices, sensors, driver circuits and microcontrollers or microprocessors. These microcontrollers provide the functionality based on the program inside them. Let's explore the details of each of this section. An embedded system is a special purpose computer system designed to perform one or a few dedicated functions. It is usually embedded as part of a complete device including hardware and mechanical parts. Physically, embedded systems range from portable devices such as digital watches and MP3 players, to large stationary installations like traffic lights, factory controllers, or the systems controlling nuclear power plants. Embedded systems are designed to do some specific task, rather than be a general purpose computer for multiple tasks. The software written for embedded systems is called firmware, and is stored in read-only memory or flash memory part of a microcontroller instead of a disk drive. It often runs with limited hardware resources, small or no keyboard, screen, and little memory. Simple embedded devices use buttons, LEDs, and small character or digit-only displays. In more complex systems a full graphical screen, with touch sensing or screen edge buttons provides flexibility while minimizing space used. Embedded processors can be broken into two distinct categories, microprocessors and microcontrollers. Microcontrollers have built-in peripherals on the chip, reducing size of the system. There are many different CPU architectures used in embedded designs such as ARM, MIPS, PowerPC, x86, PIC, 8051, Atmel AVR. Renesas H8, SH, V850, FRV, M32R, Z80, Z8, etc. Embedded devices capture inputs from a variety of devices like small keyboards, temperature sensors, light sensors, infrared light sensors, audio capturing, motion sensors, radio frequency signals, digital signals from various networks and the list is really endless. Microcontroller process the captured input based on the instructions provided by the firmware and provides outputs to LEDs, LCDs, motors, relays, external memory devices such as MMC card, speakers and buzzers, etc. Most of the time, these output devices are isolated from the microcontroller using suitable driver circuits or the isolation circuits. For example if you develop a robot based on an embedded device like a Mega 32 microcontroller, you have to add a motor driver circuit in between the microcontroller and the motor. This applies to the input circuits too. Microcontrollers can understand digital signals of 1 and 0. Advanced microcontrollers like AVR can understand analog inputs too. You have to put a signal converter circuit in between the input sensors and the microcontroller. For example you are developing a robot which can be controlled using radio frequency. The data received from the radio signals has to be converted into a series of 1 and 0 using appropriate circuits before feeding it to the microcontroller for further processing. Embedded devices require signals and data as input. A signal could be high or low in state but a data could be a combination of high and low signals. You can see some of the input devices on your screen commonly used in embedded systems. Some of them are input as well as output. Outputs of embedded devices varies from application to applications. One application may require any or all of the output devices displayed on your screen. These output are mainly used for display, data transmission, external high voltage device control or to store data in external memory. This is a general layout of a temperature display unit. This unit is built using a Mega 32 controller loaded with required source code. It gets input from a temperature sensor and displays it to a LCD. Even though the Mega 32 microcontroller is over suitable for this application, it can be replaced with any other microcontroller. When I say over suitable, it indicates that the features of Omega 32 microcontrollers are not only restricted to reading temperature but it has tens of other features too, which remains unutilized. We know that our PC accepts keyboard data as input, mouse scroll and clicks as inputs. We connect mouse and keyboard to the PC using connectors provided on the body of your computer CPU box. But how an embedded system can accept the input like a key press or a temperature data? To understand the answer of this question, 
you should first study some details of the microcontrollers. As you can see on your screen that microcontroller Omega32 has 40 pins available for connections. Out of these 40 pins, few pins are used for power supply connections and other mandatory connections. Rest of the pins are called as port pins. Omega32 microcontroller has 4 ports available for input and outputs. One port is made up of 8 pins. These port details will vary from one controller to other controller. But in general the concept of port will remain the same. In the application to read and display temperature, we have to connect the temperature sensor to the microcontrollers one of the pin. I don't want to enter into a great details of the pins, but after learning AVR microcontrollers, you can easily decide as which particular pin has to be used for this. You have to write a source code in language like C or assembly or any other suitable language which will read the input temperature and process it to display to the LCD. Now we know that the temperature sensor is connected to one of the port pin of the microcontroller and is feeding the temperature data to the microcontroller. Now the question appears as who will process this data? Answer could be the microcontroller or the source code you have developed for this microcontroller. Let's understand the answer now. A fresh piece of microcontroller is a true dump box. This newly purchased microcontroller cannot do any task. It requires a program to function further. The program which you have developed using C language need to be compiled to machine level language using a compiler. This machine level program which is a series of 1 and 0 has to be copied from your PC to the microcontroller using a device called ISP programmer. Once the program gets downloaded completely, microcontroller starts its function to read temperature and display it to the LCD. This way with the help of your program, the microcontroller Omega32 can process the input data. As the data is processed by the microcontroller using the instructions you have provided with the help of program, now it is ready to send the data to output device LCD. The LCD is an independent device similar to your mouse and keyboard used with PC. These mouse and keyboards can be connected to any PC because they have standard set of protocol to communicate. Similarly the LCD shown on your screen, which we have used to display the temperature, can be connected to any microcontroller available in the market. You have to include a source code to communicate with this LCD using its understandable set of commands into your main program. LCD pins has to be connected to the microcontroller. These connection details are provided by the LCD manufacturer. Same details are available with the learning product you have purchased from Deccan Robots. I assure you that you will be guided to actually develop similar applications using this tutorial. Till now, I have tried to provide a very general information about input, process and output of embedded systems. It is my experience that once you start working with application using the hardware you have, you will find it much more easier. At this moment simply try to understand the outlines of the embedded developer.